Hey fellas and welcome back to a brand new video where today we're actually going to be doing a tutorial video on how you can install Optifine on any mod pack you have. So it's pretty simple, all you guys need is a couple of things actually. You guys are going to need a CurseForge instance, which I recommend. It's not needed, but it's recommended. You're also going to need your mod pack of choice on CurseForge like I recommend, <laughs> and you're also going to need the correct Optifine version for your mod pack. So let's get straight into it, and also make sure to leave like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And uh, this video was actually recommended by someone called Reborn, so thank you Reborn for the kind. So on CurseForge, the first thing that we need to do is um, we need to go to this little Minecraft icon on the top left, and um, we're going to actually install a Minecraft mod pack. So let's go to browse mod packs over here and um, let's download any mod pack we want. Now some of these mod packs are made not to have Optifine so you do have to be careful but um, let's go for something like uh, Modern Skyblock. Here we go. Let's install this mod pack. Now what it's going to do is it's just going to install the mod pack like a usual Minecraft instance but it will not be in the normal Windows app data file if I were to go um, percent app data here. If I do this, you've got the normal .minecraft folder, but as you guys can see, I don't use it. I only use CurseForge, so this has nothing to do with what we're going to do. So let's have a look. When this is downloaded, I'll skip ahead on the video, and then we can add Optifine to this instance of Minecraft. Also, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Any ideas you guys like, or have if you guys have anything that you want to know about Minecraft and how to do it, make sure to leave a comment down below because I'm sure a lot of other people are in the same situation as you and I'm very much willing to help. Okay, I got an error downloading that mod pack for some reason. Uh, I think it's internet problems, but <laughs> that's just France, so whatever. <laughs> so for some reason my CurseForge instance won't want to install Minecraft mods. I think I've got to install some updates and stuff, but I can't be bothered with that right now. So instead I'm going to show you with a currently existing mod pack I have on my files. So to do this it's very easy. All we have to do is once you've installed the mod pack it will come up with the mod packs icon and name probably down in the last one like over here somewhere for instance. This is Trollcraft from Zine and Kian. Uh, up here there's a three little dots little icon. If you press on this is actually going to be an open folder icon. Now if you press on this it comes up with a folder with all of your Minecraft files in it. Now this is in its own thing. It's in its own CurseForge file like I have it here. Now this is actually where you have to put all of your mods. Now in mods folder here, as you can see, there's a lot and a lot of mods in here and I think I'm pretty sure I already did Optifine in this. No! Oh, this is going to be a perfect example. So, all we have to do now is we have to go to our lovely uh, browser over here. Now, we need to look up Optifine. So let's go to Optifine.net. Now this is this link will be in the description down below and let's go to Downloads. Now, over here on this Curseforge instance, blah, 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 blah. over here on this Curseforge instance, we have 1.7.10 is the Minecraft version. It should just be written under here. Again, if you guys don't know how to get to this, go to Minecraft on top left and click on your mod pack that you've installed. Okay, so there we go, and here it says 1.7.10. Now let's click on Show All Versions on Optifine.net, and let's go right down to the 1.7.10. 1.7.10. Let's download this. Now it's going to come up with this add focus thing. All right, skip. There we go. And let's download this. And now Optifine. Let's save that. And there we go. We have Optifine 1.7.10. So let's open this in folder. Now, as you guys can see, it's in the folder. I'm going to move this to my other screen. So don't worry, it's still open. Now, again, reminders. Let's click on this little file, this icon up here. Let's click on open folder. And then over here, let's go to mods and move the Optifine icon over to the mods folder. There we go. Now Optifine is installed. So there we go. Now let's let's click on play up here. Could not verify Minecraft version. Fantastic. Now do remember that this will not work for every mod pack. For instance, Sky Factory has a load of issues with the skybox rendering. Now if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically when the sky goes Instead of it's normal blue, it's basically purple or black. So it basically just doesn't work correctly. It basically just unloads texture and goes to the background texture lost icon, um, which is a bit of an issue. However, there have been some fixes online for certain mod packs, such as Sky Factory. Uh, you guys can find them 
if you just look up what mod you're trying to fix, uh, there's this guy that's very helpful. If I can find the video um, before I publish this, I will put it in the description. Now here we go. So now we've got our Minecraft thing working. So let's click on play. I understand the risks. Do not warn me about this and click on play. So now this is going to launch a normal Minecraft, normal Minecraft sort of instance, but it's going to be modded with Forge through Curse Forge, and it's not going to be using this default um, app data percent file. So you guys can ignore that and you can actually have your own Minecraft folder just for that mod. So it's really useful because you can just change mod packs whenever you want without having to do file moving or stuff like that. Really useful. There are of course other tools than CurseForge. You guys can probably use, well there's plenty of others. I don't actually have any of them on my mind at the moment. I use personally CurseForge all the time because it's what I've been using for years. So. It's absolutely fantastic. Wow, Trollcroft must be one of those really big mods that just takes time to load. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on today? Holy crap, dude! Okay, so Sticker Incorporated. I'm just going to do it on my current created mod pack because it... Well, I don't know. It's just going to work way better, I think. So if I click on this up here and open folder, again, this is 1.12.2, so I'm going to install the 1.12.2 version. It should be just simple, but of course, because I started recording, it's like... <coughs> so, it just it just doesn't want to play well. <laughs> there we go, it's installed. Right, I got it on this, I've got it on this screen. There we go. So if I go to the Mods folder, and then I bring over the Optifine from the Downloads folder onto the Sticker Incorporated file, which is my mod pack, it installs it right here. Now, however, I do already have it installed. So there we go. Now that's basically now all we have to do is open up the pack and it should just load. Okay, there we go. And finalizing and there it is. It's now launching correctly, which is way better than it was before. There we go. So now we've got Minecraft. Let's wait for this to load. It's as usual, it has some trouble responding just before. There we go. There it is. And now if we load into Sticker Laboratory, it should have new settings for everything you guys might have to change a load of settings but because I've already installed it before it's fine but now you should have a mod pack with it installed and that is it so you've used curseforge you installed your mod pack and you have the correct version of optifine installed so congratulations you now have optifine installed and you can have some shaders installed with your version over here which I have tons of shaders here and um you can play in your world with wonderful shaders now. Isn't that right, Captain Flash? It's... <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd say it would be cool, and it is. And look at this. We've got our pig named Squid over here in ray tracing beauty. Actually, not ray tracing. I don't know, actually. But yeah, we're in our wonderful world with shaders. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notification, and if you have any other video ideas or problems that you may have with Minecraft that you want to get solved, Make sure to link them down in the description down below, and I will help as many of you as I possibly can in another video. So, I also reply to, like, as many comments as I see. As long as they're in my notification box, I reply to them. So, send as many comments as you want. <laughs> now that, I'll see you all in the next video. Let's go. If you guys enjoy having high frame rates, maybe you'll also enjoy watching high frame rate footage that we've recorded in a previous video and in this playlist here.